Welcome back to La Full of Zest and we are here in the beautiful trails of the Umfalozi. We have a great group of us walking every day carrying our heavy bags through this beautiful wilderness and we thought today that we should do a little bit of a yoga Pilates flow. We've got some of our group joining us today and we hope that this will just make us feel good and flexible for the rest of the trail. So when you're ready let's grab your mat. We're going to be starting seated in the center of our mats and I want you just to lengthen that spine, draw your shoulders down that back and let's take a deep inhale and as we're exhaling just scanning that body. You can close your eyes if you want to drawing those gaps down that back. Let's inhale. And on that exhale, lifting those arms up towards the sky. Deep breath, take an exhale out. And now slowly, deep breath in, exhaling, leaning your arms over towards that left hand side. And as you do so, just draw your right sits bone into the mat. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale towards the left and lift that arm up and over and slowly coming back to center exhale towards the other side reaching 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 and inhaling coming back to center and exhaling coming towards the other side now we're leaning that right arm all the way onto the mat and extending that left arm up and over going as far as you can now slowly reaching towards the front of you all the way along towards that other side placing that left hand now onto the mat as you reach your right hand up and over and slowly holding here taking a deep inhale and coming back up to center let's inhale exhale reaching all the way to the other side to that right hand side elbows are on the mat we're going to extend that left leg tucking in that right foot into that left groin deep breath in exhale lifting all the way up and over to try and touch that left toe with your right hand and inhaling coming back up and over reaching and just following your hand with your eyes as you reach just trying to get that mobility into those hips last one on this side and we're just going to hold here in this pose, opening, stacking those shoulders, looking straight up in front of you. And deep breath in. Exhale, coming back up to center. Arms on a T position, palms facing each other. And we're just going to do little circles towards the front. Deep breaths as we're rolling. And five, four, three, two, one coming back to center and changing and five four three two one bringing arms all the way up we're going to tuck in our left leg bringing that right leg out towards the side deep breath in exhale reaching over towards that left hand side inhale coming back to center and reaching over towards that right toe and slowly coming back up. I can see our cameraman is really struggling here in this move, tucked in between the bushes and the rocks, coming back to center and reaching over and slowly lifting back up. Let's tuck that leg back in, bringing your arms all the way to the side. We're going to slowly lift our hips up towards the ceiling then slowly coming back down and then lifting our arms up and reaching forward. So just allowing that mobility into that back, lifting back up, lifting those hips, lifting up onto those knees, slowly coming back down and reaching forward. Last one, just stay in this position. I want you to really reach those arms as far as you can as you draw your shoulder down into your back into the floor, allowing that back to stretch out. Now slowly walking your arms towards the left hand side, opening that right side of your ribs. And slowly coming back to center, walking all the way towards the other side as you open the left part of your ribs, pushing those shoulders down. 
and slowly coming back up, rolling yourself up, stacking that vertebrae. We're going to bring ourselves to the bottom of our mat into an all fours position. We're going to progress into our cat stretch. So just making sure your wrists are comfortably under your shoulders, knees comfortably under those hips. Let's take a deep inhale. And as we exhale, pushing that spine up towards the sky and inhaling, exhaling, opening that chest as you drop that spine. Deep breath, allowing that spine to move and articulate through that vertebra, pushing all the way up. And exhaling, opening that chest. Let's do one more of these. Deep breath, exhale, pushing up. Let's bring that pelvis back to neutral. We're going to extend that right arm and left leg. And we're going to hold in the Superman hold position, activating those glutes, flexing that ankle. Deep breath, let's hold this pose. And let's take a deep inhale. And we're going to do little pulsations of that right leg up towards the sky for 10, 9, 8. Keeping that core tight, making sure not to half extend that back. 4, 3, 2, 1. Dropping that left arm down and bringing that right leg next to that right hand. And leaning into that front knee as you open that hip flexor, bringing arms up towards the sky coming back into lunge position, arms in front of you. We're opening that right arm towards the wall or the open space behind you. And inhaling, coming back to center, exhaling, reaching up towards the sky as you lean into that front knee. Allow that back to stretch out, keeping that pelvis stable, coming back to center and opening. That's the movement. We are going to do two more of these. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, reaching up towards the sky. Looking up as you lean into that front knee. Let's inhale, exhale back to center. And opening that chest. And last one, arms to center, leaning forward. And then let's inhale. Exhale, bringing arms all the way down. Let's tuck that back foot, those toes under that back foot as we extend that front foot, keeping that back foot up off the floor. That heel, we're going to extend that front knee and just drawing that chest towards that knee. Let's hold here. Let's keep holding, deep breaths, allow that body just to release as we enjoy this this beautiful nature. Let's take a deep breath and slowly anchoring that left hand as we open that right arm up towards the sky. Keeping your hand, your weight on the tips of those hands. You can either look straight down or you can look up towards the ceiling if you can. Deep breath, let's hold here. And five deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling slowly dropping that hand down leaning all the way back down into that front knee placing both hands on the mat as you bring that right knee back behind you leaning all the way back into rest position pushing those shoulders into the ground let's inhale exhale coming back to that all fours position we're going to lift that left leg and right arm just making sure that you are stable, tucking and not half extending, but you want to draw that pelvis in and holding, looking straight down in front of you. Deep breaths, activating that glute and that core, flexing that ankle and little pulsations of that left leg up towards the sky for 10, 9, 8, keep going, 7, 6, 5. You want to feel that activation of that left glute and slowly stopping the pulsations, dropping that left hand down, bringing that left foot next to that left hand. As you lean into that front knee, lifting arms up towards the sky and opening that chest. Deep breath in, exhale, coming back to center. Let's take a deep inhale, exhale, opening that left arm towards the wall behind you, following with your neck, 
inhaling, coming back to center and reaching forward, lifting arms up, allow that hip flexor to stretch out, coming back to center. And just as you're going, you're following that movement with your breaths, allow that breath to be deep, allowing oxygen into that body. We've got two more after this one, just allowing that spine to twist and stretch out. And inhaling, coming back to center, reaching up. Let's hold here and slowly coming back to center and opening that chest last time. Bringing arms back to center, placing both of them on the mat, tucking that right foot, toes under those heels and extending that left knee in front of you. Let's hold here. Deep breaths, allow that body just to stretch out, feel those stretches down the back and side of your legs. Now slowly anchoring that right hand as you lift that left arm up towards the sky. You can keep your, your eyes facing in front of you just to keep that balance. Otherwise you can challenge yourself to look up towards the sky, trying to keep those shoulders open and stacked. Let's hold for five deep breaths and slowly dropping that hand down, leaning into that front knee, dropping that back knee onto the mat as you bring that knee back behind you leaning yourself all the way back into rest position. This time I want you to open your knees a little bit further than shoulder width apart, rotating that pelvis out towards the wall behind you as you lean into that mat. Try and challenge yourself to just open those hips as you push your chest down all the way into the ground. Let's take a deep breath, slowly coming back into all fours and bringing your feet up into a seated position. We're going to finish off with a few pelvic curls. So let's lie down all the way onto our mats. Just gonna turn around because I'm on a slant. Let's place our hands on our sides, activating that tummy, drawing that belly to spine. Let's take a deep inhale, exhale, tilting that pelvis and peeling that pelvis vertebra by vertebra off the mat up towards the sky let's take a deep inhale exhale slowly rolling yourself back down keeping that control in that core and in the movement of that spine let's take a deep inhale exhale slowly rolling yourself back up we're going to stay in the air here squeezing those glutes let's dig those heels into the ground let's lift that right leg up into tabletop we're lifting both arms up towards the sky, palms facing each other. And we're going to inhale to prepare. And on that exhale, right leg toe tap as we lower our arms overhead while maintaining that activation. If you feel like you can't keep this control, you wanna lower your glutes a little bit more just to make sure you're not half extending that back. Inhaling, coming back to center. And let's do three more, exhale down, inhale center, exhale down, inhale center. And last one, back up, we're going to extend that right leg up towards the sky and keeping our arms up, palms facing each other, we're just going to do little pulsations with that left glute. So lifting that hip up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, dropping that right leg into tabletop, dropping it all the way down to lift that left leg on that exhale, up towards tabletop, inhaling, exhale, toe tap as we bring arms overhead. Work really hard to push through that stabilizing heel, tucking in that pubic bone, and inhaling as we come to center, exhaling as we drop. Squeezing those glutes, sucking in that pelvic floor. Let's do two more. And last one, lifting up, extending that left leg, ready for our pulsations. And 
lifting and lowering, keeping that core tight. Let's go for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bringing that left leg back into tabletop, dropping it down, lifting those hips, and slowly rolling yourself back down. Let's bring arms overhead and then interlacing them comfortably behind your head. We're going to lift right leg up into tabletop, then left leg, keeping those knees and ankles together, making sure there's a 90 degree angle in those hips and in those knees. Let's take a deep inhale, exhale, lifting head, neck off the floor. Now extending arms out towards the sides and rotating your palms to face the floor. If you want to, you can challenge yourself to extend or you can keep your knees bent. We're going to go into our hundreds. If you feel the need to stop and slow down in between, that's okay. But let's take our deep breaths in. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two, three, four. Let's keep that tummy tight. If you feel like your neck is straining, then just drop your head, neck and chest back onto the mat. But keep going, you want to feel that beautiful activation. And let's go for another 20. And inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and slowly lowering head, neck, and chest as you knees to hugging those legs, allowing that slowly slow down. Right, just to keep right knee, hold it towards your chest. You're going to extend that leg all to the mat. Those hips hugging those knees to chest. Well done everyone. We're going to go into our final sequence of just slowing that heart rate down. Final few stretches of the day. Let's lift that right leg up into table. Placing both hands on that outer part of that right knee. And leaning it across, bringing right arm into a T position, looking towards that right arm as you allow that back to stretch out. And just holding in this pose, deep breath. Slowly drawing that leg all the way back up to center and extending it onto the mat as you lift that left leg up, hugging that Again, allowing those hips to open up. Now slowly placing part of that left tabletop position and then leaning it across the midline as you draw that knee towards the floor and extend that left hand into T-point, looking in the opposite direction to your knee. Just allow that body to stretch out and slowly coming back to center, extending that left leg onto the mat, bringing arms overhead, lengthening those limbs away from one another. So feet are going towards the wall below you, arms are going to the wall above you, stretching as much as we can. And on that inhale, lifting arms to sides. And as we exhale, lifting yourself all the way up into seated position, pointing those toes and rolling over, drawing chest to knees as you allow that final stretch. Let's do that one more time, stacking that vertebra, rolling that spine all the way up into seated, deep breath in. Exhale slowly, rolling yourself all the way down, reassessing that body, scanning from toes to head to see how you feel if there's any niggles let's take one last deep breath exhale slowly rolling ourselves back up into seated thanks for joining me i'm so glad you could enjoy this beautiful wilderness with me today and i look so forward to seeing you in the videos to come and thank you so much to our guests today for joining us which is very nice to have some people go through these sequences with me look forward to seeing you in the next video